What's happening, ladies and not ladies? We are reacting to a video, which is how big is the universe? Now, I know there are a lot of these videos that go around, but I'm extremely interested in space. So all the other boys. Mm -hmm. So Damu, Papa, and myself are going to be reacting to this video. <laughs> I'm actually very interested because when you think about it, our life, you know, the world seems so massive and big, you know, like flying from Australia to America is so far and all of this. But in reality, we are nothing. We are a grain of dirt. In the in the big scheme of things, we are nothing. We're a little grain of dirt and it's very interesting to see and put everything into perspective. This is a good way to put it. Imagine a beach, you pick up one grain of sand, that's us. True. Get your food, get your popcorn. We're going to watch this video together. We're going to get mind blown together. Ooga booga. <laughs> All right, let's go. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything you've ever known is located right here. Maybe I live on the moon, hmm? Just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Bro, his face gets me so excited, but the worst thing is we'll never get to see what's out there. You may think that the moon is very close to the You'd be surprised what will come out this year, actually. Bro, it takes six months alone just to get to Mars. 30 Earths! Okay. If somehow we're able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 100... What? what? To get to the moon? Jeez. Holy shit. This incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing... Only 12? Or have they? Any individual or have they? Hmm? Has ever been away from the Earth. Mm, hey, do, you, do, you, well. do you guys think they actually made it to the moon or not? I'm, a, I'm really 50-50 with it, man. I'm really 50-50 with it. There's I a lot of, there's a lot of the... evidence supporting that it's faked, but there's also a lot of evidence supporting that it's real as well. Yeah, so, so, so I can't look, tell. I'll give, you, I'll give you my thought process. I reckon they've definitely made it to the moon, mm -hmm. but I think the televised version is fake. But like, did you remember when the first space landing was? Like, how do they televise such high quality frequency from so far? Unless they recorded it maybe and then stored it and then brought it back. But even so, they'd like set a camera up on the moon. Like, Bro, what? Yeah. And the internet would have been fucking. I don't even know if it's internet. What is it? Like fucking no, radio signals? I, I don't know, but like that's what I'm saying. I reckon, and the, I reckon the televised version might have been fake, but I think they definitely True. went to the moon at one point. I thought actually, about that now. Is, yeah, that's crazy. That's a good, that's a good theory, yeah. actually. Yeah. And, and then plus, isn't there like the flag was like flying in the air, even though there's no well, air in space? The the counter theory was is because it's wrinkled, which makes it look like it's wagging. But there's also, if you look, if you see it right now, the flag, it's actually um, there's a metal rod at the top of it. That goes all the way through the flag. Mm. Oh, See so that? It makes it so it like keeps it up. up. Yeah. Standing there True. with them, and if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and. But isn't that bad? Yeah, it's not even that bad at all. Two and a half seconds. Wait, 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 hold up. Wait, what was that mean? Mars. So like, if you were to send a message from the moon, it would take two and a half seconds to get back to Earth. Yeah. Like throw it there. No. <laughs> no. You <laughs> no. Fucking... No. I get a okay. text. Like if I, if, I, if Mel's in the moon and I was on the Earth and I send him, "Hello, Mister Mel," oh. it would send in one and a half seconds. <laughs> <laughs> my man throw, bro. This is what it would look like if I was to throw my phone. It would be like this. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, yeah. Dude, if it takes you 160 days to get there, and you're throw throwing a message, mate. It will take a little bit longer than 160 days. <laughs> it wouldn't days. even make it there. It would just stop. <laughs> like, mate, this is why Damu's never gone to the moon. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. To be honest. <laughs> Did you say you wanted to be an astronaut when you were older, Amy, when you were younger? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. You were one of the astronauts <sighs> they sent up in a ship that blew up, all right? This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth. That go, that's crazy. Mars. What? That's how, like, small we are, dude. Average, that's Mars crazy for Like, Mars. if that's just the Earth, imagine how, how small we are as Earth humans, dude. dude. Like, an actual That's being. Earth, in that, yeah, literally in that tiny yeah. little grain of dirt. And that planet is still in our solar system. It's, yeah. like, it's still in the Milky Way. It's still, like, dude, that's so much. There's millions of, uh, of uh, galaxies we and milky ways and shit bro. solar systems mm -hmm. that that's crazy crazy 401 million kilometers 400 million kilometers humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet that <sighs> person will be 986 times far out. almost a thousand times further than the moon that's the moon crazy in addition no one's been to mars yet right it's only been robots and stuff yeah no one Earth isn't just two and a half Are they sent a monkey to mars yet actually more like 20 no don't think so oh okay 20 minutes to send a yeah. message did you guys see the mars rover land on um yeah preserving or whatever it is. This is this is scary. Could you imagine you're like in trouble, right? Like there's hundred people that are like on on Mars. They need help, like ASAP help, right? Like someone's dying. It takes forty minutes to get a response. Yeah. Twenty minutes for you for them to get your message. That's they have to crazy, write the reply bro. and then send it back. It takes forty minutes. We zoom out further away, we can find the Voyager One space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently That's crazy. located 138 AU's from the AUs. Earth. AU's, AU's Australia's astronomical <laughs> unit. Which oh, is the distance oh. between the Earth and the Sun. 
Oh, which shit. means that Volmar oh my God. is 138 times further away from us than the sun is. At Damn. some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned actually its insane, camera dude. around and took this photograph. Whoa. It may not look like much at first, Whoa. but in my opinion, this is the greatest That's crazy. photograph That's ever guys. taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth. Oh and I my don't think God. That anybody has ever said something as amazing That's about sick. this as Carl Sagan when he said, if you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it. That's so crazy, dude. Of, every human being who ever lived lived out their lives. It's it, dude, the it, aggregate of all our joys. It's so crazy. You can't comprehend it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it, you it's understand it, but you can't actually comprehend every it. Every hunter and every forager, every hero and coward, like that little dot has like life. Win. It has everything, everything we know on it everything yeah. and it looks like nothing in that picture if you were to take a picture of an ant in like a dirt field you know what i mean it's so small and so minute that no one cares about it but that's us i everyone. feel like life is so specific like literally to just how the human body works like how wildlife works how the ecosystem works. everything is so specific i can't comprehend it man i'm like gone crazy <laughs> creator and royer of civilization true. oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. blow that mate blow that a young couple in love <laughs> Every hopeful child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every that's supreme us. leader, every that's 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 not us. sinner in the history of our species lived there. On that's a crazy. Of dust I can't even comprehend that, man. That's so, that, Voyager One is you know what I mean? Like, like at it's seventeen just, kilometers like, every single second. Seventeen kilometers a it's second. It's so specific. It break out of the reach of our crazy. solar system for another thirty thousand years. What? Okay. Once we go okay, beyond right. the solar system, I, I need you to understand that it goes seventeen kilometers a second, not not per hour, not per minute, per second. second yeah. And it's going to take thirty thousand years to break out of our solar system. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Get out, man. Jesus Christ, that goes dude. to show how huge Voyager everything 1 is. is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system oh. for another 30 Yeah, okay, right, okay, yeah, hold that thought, hold that thought, right? Holding, holding, holding. Because space, space is actually constantly expanding. Is that because yeah. space is expanding? No, the like, reason, that's why so it takes space, that long at the same time as... It, so... The, okay, there's a theory, right? Because mm -hmm. I've done a lot of research into space, but there's a theory that the universe, not 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 necessarily space, but I, I mean, I guess it is space, but the universe is constantly expanding because there's always new forms of life. There's new light, new planets, new everything constantly being created. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a theory that the Big Bang started and then it's just constantly expanding outwards or whatever, whatever it is, right? Yeah. But I don't think that means the universe itself is getting bigger. I think it just means that it's growing outwards. You know what I mean? So I don't think... The distance right. between where yeah, we it's are not to like, the edge of, so it's not like yeah, stretching. That's, that yeah, it's not stretching. It's growing yeah. new stuff constantly outwards and outwards. True. That that's the theory, I believe. I could like be a wrong, but I think. Or some shit. Yeah, exactly. So it's like if you like the size comparison always stays the same, but there's just more and more being like added on. It's getting extended, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah you know what? Relevant. This is this is going hurt my brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's just keep let's just keep watching the video. Yeah, right let's keep going. Th this in itself has blown my mind. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Oh, dude. Here we shift nah. to the light year yeah. unit of measurement, which is nah. the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. <laughs> the star Proxima Centauri <laughs> here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, okay. but it's still 4.24 <laughs> light years away from dude. us. All right, dude. To put that into perspective, so alone, bro. In the right direction, it, it, it would still nothing. take voice. Earth getting no pussy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay dude it. i i don't like that it would take voyager if it was going the correct direction seventy thousand years from where it is now to get there yeah. to our next to the next solar system that's, <laughs> that's like if you drove your what? car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon it would take over six times longer than the oh, entire yeah, age is. of the universe <laughs> is just to finally get there the and it wouldn't even exist universe. still when you arrived <laughs> when we zoom out even further we can see the entire milky way galaxy Look inside that. of which we have big that is right that's here. like this that's Earth. Is the what? Bro, bro, who radio looks radio like a wait oh, no, 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 no 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 dude that's how far our radio signals can go to that the edge of those circles. Who, you get this photo, right? Voyager goes all the way out and it sends that photo or some shit, right? Yeah. Who looks at that 
fucking photo and like looks at it and goes, oh, that's Earth. Like, how? I, I, don't, I mean, the thing is, we don't know what lo like, it looks exactly like this, but it's all to scale and they measure maps and they can't, like, there's yeah, people's yeah. jobs that are only to map out space. Like, that's literally what they're there for. It's so um, crazy. So the bro. maps are so accurate that we can, we can make these sort of predictions and we can locate where we are. Like, it's crazy, man. It's so insane. Dude, like, look at how little we are. Fun. That's our communication. Dude, that's not even just Earth. That's I found it so funny when people say oh, aliens don't exist. When they say yeah. when aliens exist. This, picture. this and the thing is, is oh, you'll yeah. see later on that this is nothing. It, like, and, and that is the craziest thing. This, what, what is it? Is this a solar system? I, I think was, it's a solar I was, system. I, was, I think of aliens from going off of what Damien said, right? Apparently, the Pentagon, apparently, Donald Trump's like yeah. he's forcing the Pentagon to release everything they have by June, July this year on yeah. UFOs and extraterrestrial life. That's crazy. Yeah. But definitely Dude, out there. That's why the Pentagon I also confirmed recently the two UFO sightings were real. You know what I wonder? Mm hmm. What about if aliens inhabited our planet, right? And they found like this livable planet and they, they wanted to do an experiment. <laughs> Dude, and what about if they just created us and put us on this planet and they've just been watching us? True. Like, we would never and know. Like, and they we come down like, we are your creator. Yeah, we would Bow never know. to us and they're Thanos snap us out of existence. Because every single like thing we have and like how we think life started is a theory. You know what I mean? True. Like, yeah. Off topic a bit, but I want to know your your opinion or theory, Mal, on on how you think the pyramids are built. <laughs> oh, I woke up on a Saturday afternoon and my dick's just that big that I built the pyramids without. That's how it was. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Into light years from end to end. Not. For 100,000 light years. That's so stars crazy. And over 100 billion planets <laughs> inside of our galaxy. Okay, okay. That's okay. only our galaxy. <laughs> That's our galaxy. There's 100 Alone. billion planets. Our There's 100 galaxy. billion all of those. Alone, bro. But What's you have and we are seen one of those planets. Glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to the small. That, what? what? That's the stars we see. But even like this at night. massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further. <gasps> no, okay, dude. This this is where my brain <laughs> blows up. Four different galaxies that is about 10 million light years it's, across. 54 different galaxies. No, no. Super close. Of which bro, what? Look how big it is. It's Dude. huge. It's like it's like it's like the back of some. That's why the theory is that the or the the universe is constantly expanding because the stuff that we've mapped out is only only the light that has reached Earth yet. If there's new life, there, there could be new life, but we won't see it for billions of years. This right here, this is our local group of galaxies. <clears throat> Yeah. Like this is this is astonishing. And then you come here. Like what? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Just a tiny segment of. Okay. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here. Oh and my the distance God. from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 Bro, million light years. But even the massive what? Virgo supercluster is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Right. It just got bigger. <laughs> Dude. Right. <laughs> oh, no. That is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance Bro, from don't, one side to the other is say. 520 years. Oh, Half a it's billion go again. What? Oh my God! Even the Titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant no part way. of everything. There's no this way the that life doesn't exist. It contains everything that we know of. It is like, home to wait, that, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Different you know what's even worse about this screenshot right here? This is yeah. all that we know of. This is all we can yeah. see. Do you know how much more is it probably keeps going out even further this is further, just one universe further. there's more universes 100 percent. we are nothing we we are literally nothing we know of it is home to at least two trillion different <laughs> what galaxies, the galaxies? Which individual more stars than there are grains of sand oh on the entire God. earth the what? distance from earth that's to insane any side of the observable universe is 46.5 <laughs> billion oh, yeah. light years which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years. Don't do it. Oh, don't go out don't further. Do it. Don't do it. Even more interesting, however, no is what actually lies beyond the observable okay, universe. 
Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely uh, possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. That is true. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's <laughs> history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from wow. some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Damn. Earth. That's, that's, that's what crazy. was my theory! If humanity okay, all right, all right, well, you need to understand that. I'm going to have a stroke. So that is the observable universe, and then you've got to remember that there is planets that exist that light haven't, like, hasn't made it here yet. There is universes that exist that we don't know about. And there is universes that are constantly moving that we don't know about that we'll never know about. I, dude, space is not okay. And there is something out there. Something is like... There's no way that like this is not by an accident. Like I feel like the whole universe, someone had to create it. Like something or what, someone... Dude, what about if... Like dude, how? What, okay, okay, wait. Hear, hear me out. What about if the entire observable universe is an experiment by an alien, which is a higher being that we will never know about? Yeah, could be. Just True. his little playground. I hate space! Uh, I'm going to say one thing. Don't take anything we said as fact, okay? This is us rambling. I look at this thing, right? And I'm like, a one million people subscribed to my YouTube channel at one point, And that is so many people. And then you look at it, there is, what, what do you say? A hundred billion or a hundred trillion, like, galaxy. <laughs> Space is mind boggling and we will never know the full extent. So I appreciate you boys coming out to this extremely long reaction video. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.